this lecture looks at the international open market operations. So first of all, let's remind ourselves that an open market operation is an action that the central bank conducts in the open markets, usually to change the money supply. When we look at it domestically, we remember that the central bank must sell, usually a bond, into the private economy. As I sell this marker, I take cash out. So we sell one thing, we take cash out of, out of the economy, and that ended up decreasing the money supply. I've put it in green for dollars. Otherwise, if I buy something from the market, I end up giving them dollars. So as the central bank, if I take something out of the market and I give them cash, it increases the amount of money that is in the private market, in the private economy. Now, I don't track it as much with the domestic actions, but every time I sell something, it would decrease the number of those assets the economy, the central bank holds. So if I sell one bond, I'll have one less bond over here. And when I buy a bond, I'll have one more bond over here. We usually don't count that because we're focused on the money supply. In an international transaction, we need to remember that the international economy is part of the private economy. And so when they do this internationally in international open markets, they're usually doing this in the foreign exchange market. And instead of selling a bond, they're selling, let's for example use euros, they're selling a foreign currency or buying a foreign currency. So when they do that, they sell a, a euro. What do you use when you sell a euro? What do you get? You don't get euros, you get some other currency. You get a dollar. A more obvious example is if I go out onto the open market, what do I buy a euro with? I have to use another currency. It doesn't make sense to say I buy one euro with one euro. I already have a euro. I gain nothing. <laughs> so if I go over there and I give, give them one euro and take one euro, it, why would I do that? So to buy a euro, I need a different currency. So I take a euro and I give them a dollar as the U.S. Central Bank. So I take a foreign currency unit and I give them a domestic currency unit. That increases the domestic currency units in the market. Now this is part of the um, private market. So this will have a couple of effects. Um, it will decrease the money supply in a money market graph if you're using that. So this means it did decrease the money supply in a money market graph, which would increase the domestic interest rate. And this would increase the money supply in a money market graph and decrease the domestic interest rate. Because the foreign exchange market is part of the global uh, private market. The other thing we will start to keep track, where did this central bank, it can print as many dollars as it wants, but it the, the domestic central bank cannot print foreign currency. The U.S. central bank cannot print euros. We can only print dollars. So we must have a stock of euros, and those would be called our reserves, our international reserves. And this action here, we sold some, so it decreased our stock. And here we bought some, so it increases our stock of reserves. Notice the reserves move in the same direction as the money supply. So when you sell reserves, you lower it at home and you lower the foreign, you're, you lower the money supply. Um, other effects that this had, um, in the global market for our currency, US dollars, we call this the value of the domestic currency, and it's one over the exchange rate. This lowered the supply of our dollars in the market. 
and raised the value of our currency, which decreases the exchange rate. And this action here will increase the supply of our currency on global markets, lowering its value, uh, lowering its value, V is one over E, so a lower value means a higher exchange rate. We could get that here too, this increase in the interest rate. If we have our other Forex market, we'll see that it lowers the interest, the exchange rate consistent with that. And here as well, we will raise the exchange rate just to connect it to all of our other videos and markets.